What is up guys, we are Hopeless Gamers but we're working on it, my name is Jacob and this is Jamie. Today we've got part 3 of our Throwing Knife 101 or Biospike 101 and Infinite Warfare. We're going to be talking about how to hit your targets, which covers a couple of different things, uh, mainly to do with the reticle in this game, and also we're going to talk about bank shots and how to best best get a bank shot, I guess, in Infinite Warfare, because it's kind of different. Yeah. Now, like we mentioned in the previous uh, part two episode, we're doing this in live matches because there are no private matches in the Infinite Warfare beta, so it's very hard for us to do, but we're choosing this tiny room in the back of the map and still failing. Um, so we'll see which map we can, uh, which room we can get into where we can do it. But the first thing I think that we're going to look at is the reticle. Um, we'll just make sure we're safe. Yep, all good. So the reticle, use these chairs here, I reckon, to show um, how to throw First it. thing we notice with this reticle uh, is it's kind of, it's misleading, uh, I guess is the best word to describe it. I also have a couple of in-game examples that I'll show you, that I'll cut to after this one. But start off with, if I'm aiming and my reticle is aiming at the top of that chair, in any other Call of Duty, this throw knife would hit that chair. But in this one, it goes over it. So it, you've got to take that into consideration when you're throwing over an object. If I'm hiding behind this, for example, perfect example here, throwing, that goes over it. So it's kind of misleading. It, it's probably, I don't know, a couple of centimeters higher than you think you need to throw. Right, so the next thing we want to talk about is uh, the preemptive release that you do have to have. So similar to if you've ever played Battlefield or anything like that, with the sniping in Battlefield, you actually have to aim ahead of your target because of the slowed bullet drop and all that sort of stuff incorporated in Battlefield. Very similar thing that we have with the throwing weapon in Infinite Warfare, the bio spike. You basically, if you're, if you're running, um, you can't throw directly at them unless they're standing still. Um, another thing to think about is if you are hitting your target and you're in close quarters, the bio spike is going to explode. So you do die if you're too close to your target. We'll, we'll touch added. on that in in, a, in the next episode, which is feeding. Also, um, with the slow release, oh, that was a very interesting example. I kind of threw to the left of him there, and it still hit him, um, but he ran into it. So it's that really slow throw that you kind of see in like the Black Ops games, where it takes a lot longer to throw. That's what's happening in Infinite Warfare. It takes a long time to release your throw knife. Um, and then you have to sort of preempt where to throw it. So you have to guess if they're going to run into it or if they're going to sort of back into it, I guess. Um, so yeah, just a lot to think about when you're throwing. This is why it's a really difficult game to excel in. So the next thing to touch on is the angles and stuff that you can use for bank shots because that's primarily what we do in our montages. The first thing we want to note is that it's very similar to Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, any, any previous Infinite Warfare title, it's almost the same. Um, you cannot do direct bank shots like that. It just sticks right into the wall. Um, you have to only do skimming bank shots. If we're going to do some here, I can show you the exact angle where it starts to uh, stick into the wall. So this is fine. I'm going to sort of... It also uh, bounces along the ground a lot. That's another thing. So if someone's very far away, it's going to keep bouncing. Even this, I believe, is fine. Yeah. So you can get really hard. It's actually further of an angle than it is uh, in Call of Duty Ghost. I think it's about here where it gets stuck. Yeah. So you've got about a 45 degree angle that you can use to get bank shots. That's the same for roofs as well. That's going to stick in like that. Oh, that was also a curved surface, so a bit of a bad example. Well, if you look um, at my screen, aiming down, about here. Yep. That Still bounce, good. bounces very far. It's quite a nice, uh, it's quite forgiving in this game. Like in previous Call of Duty's, that probably would have stuck. So it's very good. Um, you've got a lot to play with. Another point that we touched on in the previous episode of our 101 series was that uh, if you equip the perk Gung Ho and you run while releasing your throwing knife or bio spike, it actually makes it go a lot further. And it's exactly the same with bank shots. Hitting the wall doesn't change its momentum at all. When you run and throw, it just goes much further than it would have had you been standing still and thrown. Uh, so just another tip to make sure you're using gung-ho and running when you're going for those long shots. Yeah, that's right, so if that person is just that little bit further away, he's in the corner there and you can't get him from a standing shot, you just run and throw it, should be able to reach him. Hopefully those tips help you. If they did, leave a comment down below on any tips that you have that we might not have touched on. We've got another couple episodes of our 101 series coming out and they'll probably come out after the initial, uh, the proper release of the game as well. Uh, because when that comes out, we'll be able to test out different perks and different setups. So as always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, there's a button for that. Otherwise, we'll always be hopeless and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!